How good are these? Here, let's You're going to dip both of them? Are you going to do a double dipper? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> get yours, and mine is coming your way. Okay. You got her? Yeah, I got her. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Schools of walleyes everywhere. Yeah. Look, yeah. At it, look at the size yeah, of this sucker. Yeah, that's another nice one. I'm going to get this one out. Yeah. And Go ahead, get yours out yeah. of there. Y yours is even with the yeah. slot here. Yeah, you think he's still over? Yeah, I think he's over. He's over. He's over. He's about a 20. Look at that. Like I was saying, <laughs> walleye fishing today in many, many places <laughs> is absolutely oh, at... incredible. And we want to make sure it stays yeah. that way. <laughs> Let me get her back. And... Look at here. I just put, took my hook out. Oh, another one in his mouth. Yeah. That looks like a good hook. I think I'll get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw her back. And Look hooks, at that baby. Huh? These hooks. <sighs> These things cost about 50 cents a piece. Uh, watch it. Uh, all going. Yeah. You know, when you got walleye fishing like this, <laughs> you know, we're in pretty good shape. You know, the stocking program here in Minnesota is, is really good right now. And uh, things are really looking up. And we got a lot of big fish and a lot of lakes. And the, st the slot limits seem to be working. And, uh, you know, in Mille Lacs here, we go, this fish is too big for the slot. We got to throw this fish back. But you know, there's still a few things on the horizon, and not necessarily on the horizon, they're already here, that really worry me. And uh, that's the invasive species problem that we have. And uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of uh, laid back, you might say, about the invasive species thing. They don't really see it as a huge problem, but there are a few of those invasive species, namely the zebra mussel, and we've got quagga mussels coming, which is our close cousin. We've got spiny water fleas, and we've got rusty crayfish. And all of those potentially are huge problems for walleye fishing. And so that's what we got to worry about right now. While many non-native species pose potential threats to fisheries and aquatic habitats, those of the most widespread concern include zebra and quagga mussels transported to U.S. waters from Europe in the bilges of ocean-going vessels pose the greatest threat to our fisheries. Once introduced to new systems, they strain nutrients from the water, consuming the green algae, which is the good algae, and rejecting the blue-green or bad algae. The amount of filtration is astounding. On Minnesota's Mille Lacs Lake, for example, the water is being totally filtered once a week. Quagga mussels are known to colonize much deeper water than zebra mussels, so they strain even more water. The loss of nutrients from this filtration can diminish the carrying capacity of the system, leading to reductions in fish population and growth. Anglers typically must adjust to fishing clearer water conditions than in the past as nutrient levels diminish. Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com. And thanks for watching.